Hi students, welcome to chapter 18, Creating Competitive Advantage. This is Marketing 3336 with Professor Ahern. Uh, this will be chapter 18 from Principles of Marketing, Kotler and Armstrong, our final chapter of this semester for lecture purposes. I hope things are going well for you. You did uh, do a great job on your final exam. Uh, make sure to look at your final exam review and, uh, and study off that uh, because that will be very helpful for you. So let's start talking about creating competitive advantage. This is actually a very straightforward chapter uh, and talks about the idea of how a brand or product can create a competitive advantage in the marketplace. So this is a really good example of that soda stream. So a soda stream is a, uh, is a product that at your home you can create your own sodas uh, or sparkling waters or sparkling beverages. Uh, and this is actually, if you think about it, an extremely saturated marketplace. There's so many different beverages out there that you can get that are sparkling or, uh, or sparkling products that are out there in the marketplace that, that this is actually a pretty full marketplace. Uh, you have major players like Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, uh, as well as a lot of mid-sized players out there working in this market. But even with that in place, SodaStream carved out a niche for themselves of uh, being able to create your own product, your own sodas, and be able to make those at home. So that's a unique uh, competitive advantage that they have to be able to give them an opportunity in that marketplace. That's what we're talking about from a competitive advantage, creating niche or niche marketing strategies that allow us to have a difference in competitiveness over, our, our, over other uh, products or brands out there in the marketplace. So competitive advantage is required delivering more value and satisfaction to target customers than competitors. Let's, let's look at a couple of key things here. Delivering more value. Remember value is, uh, if we think about value, it's what you get divided by what it costs. So if we think about that, how do you increase what we get from it and reduce the cost to be able to make maximal value? and or show that what we have is, is, is maximally different from our competition in that market that we want to target. Remember, we say target market here. Competitive marketing strategies are how companies analyze their competitors and develop value-based strategies for profitable customer relationships. Now, we have to remember this last term, profitable, because if we drop costs low enough, we can stop being profitable and, and, and then show, still show value. Uh, because we're so cheap, but yet we don't make profit. So we have to think about how we can differentiate ourselves in a way that we can deliver value and make profit simultaneously for our products and services. So when we think about competitive analysis is, is the process of identifying, assessing, and selecting key competitors. This is where we want to benchmark ourselves relative to others in the marketplace to say, how do we compare to everybody else? So we have to identify first the competitors. We assess the competitor's objectives, strategic strengths and weaknesses, and where we stand versus those competitors. And we select competitors to attack or avoid. We wanna make sure we position ourselves relative to those competitors that we think have a vulnerability in some aspect that we have a strategic advantage over. So when we're identifying these competitors, Competitors can include all firms making the same product or class of product. That's a wide, wide, wide comparison uh, of it. It can also uh, include all firms making products that supply the same service. So when we talk about services uh, instead of actual physical products, it can be somebody delivering a service that fulfills our needs or all firms competing for the same customer dollar. These are three different strategies that we could use to define what competitors are in the marketplace. So if, if, if somebody's spending a dollar on this, who the, could they be looking after in the dollar spend? So I'll give you an example of this. Restaurants sometimes will then look at not only other restaurants, but, the, but some of these services that will deliver to the home or even places that a person could order food in uh, for preparation and stuff. So all the alternatives that could, that could suffice for that $1 spent with that marketplace. So when we assess competitors, competitors' objectives, we want to look at their profitability, how, what their market share growth is, uh, cash flow, meaning what, how much cash on hand might they have as well, 
Uh, what are, what's their technological leadership? Do they have some sort of technological asset that others don't have? And, and do they have a service leadership? That means, do, are they a leader in the service sector on, in, in their particular aspect? Do they, do they have something that they provide that others don't provide from a service perspective that makes them unique or differentiates them? And, and then we, we take, for competitor strategies, we, we look at strategic group offers the strongest competitive uh, uh, advantage. So when we think about strategic group offers the strongest competitive advantage, it's, it's thinking about these particular groupings or offerings that can make us strategically valuable in the marketplace. So when we assess our competitors, we look at the strengths and weaknesses and we estimate the competitors' reactions. So when we think about our strengths and weaknesses, what can, what can our competitors do and, and what can't they do? Where do we stand relative to them? And then we estimate the reactions. If I enter the market against them, what is their response? How, how will they respond to our entry into the marketplace? Will they cut their prices? Uh, will they change their product to be similar to ours? What can they do? What makes it so that we can stand and be uniquely competitive in that marketplace that would resist them from changing to be able to, 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 to crush us in that marketplace when we enter? So selecting competitors to attack and avoid. Um, so this is what we call customer value analysis. It determines the benefits, the target customer's value, and how customers rate relative to the value of various competitors in the marketplace. So if we think about this, this is really getting at the, the, the question of how do we rate versus everybody else out there? So if we have a number of different competitors in the marketplace, we wanna be able to assess the value relative to everybody else in the market to see whether we actually have a value that we bring that's unique to everybody else and where is it that our value is unique. This is where we identify our major attributes of competitor's value and the, and the importance of these values. So when we think about this, what is it that our competition thinks is unique and valuable to them? And how important is that to their value statement? So that when we enter the marketplace, we can determine what value we can bring. We, uh, the assessment of the company and competitors' performance on those valued attributes. So there's key things that make them valuable to the marketplace. How effective are they on those key attributes? So if we think about, for example, uh, electric cars, we have all the major auto manufacturers are now making electric cars. Uh, but we also have Tesla being a leader in, in that space right now. So the question would be is what does Tesla have from, a, from its value statement and attributes that these other players don't have? What makes them unique? What gives them a strategic advantage in that marketplace? So one of the big things, and this is very famous as far as the positioning strategies that companies have entering the marketplace, there are four major positioning, basic positioning strategies of entering the marketplace. And this is Michael Porter's four basic competitive positioning strategies. Porter's actually quite famous for creating this topic of, uh, of strategy. Porter on Strategy is a terrific book if you want to read it. Uh, and it's probably one of the most famous business books from a strategic perspective. So, but uh, what Porter identifies is four basic competitive positioning strategies of how you compare yourself to the competition. The first is overall cost leadership. That's where we say we are the cheapest. Nobody else can compete with us. We're the least expensive in the market. To achieve that, we have to figure out how to produce our product and distribute our product at the lowest cost that anybody else can in the marketplace to be able to gain this overall cost leadership very challenging and a lot of it has to do with scale and efficiency and things like this. We have some retail stores like Walmart that try to do this overall cost leadership strategy. You're not going to get lower than that. The next is a differentiation strategy and this is where what we say is we do something very different or unique than everybody else does. Our product is unique to everyone else's product in some aspect or, or, or manner in the way that we distribute or the way that we produce or an advantage of our product in the marketplace. We could have the focus strategy. We only focus on certain types of customers, a certain market like the luxury market. We don't do everybody else. We only focus on the luxury customer, for example. 
by having that focus, we're able to, to really hone in on what that customer values and be able to supply products to that customer in a unique way. And lastly, the middle of the road. We're the, the, we're the general brand out there that's good for everybody. You, you can, you, you're pretty much going to be satisfied with what we have because we've uniquely taken, uh, we've not uniquely taken into consideration anyone in particular, but generally trying to suffice the entire marketplace. But these are the four major um, competitive positioning strategies outlined by Porter. Now, when we think about the, I'm going to just review them each really quickly. The overall cost leadership, the company achieves the lowest production and distribution costs to gain the maximal market share. Differentiation, company creates a highly differentiated product line that's, that makes themselves the industry class leader by being different than everybody else, okay? Um, and if we think the, the, uh, then, then the, uh, the focus strategy, they focus on others. This is what we call the middle of the road strategy. Uh, there's no clear strategy. We're just a general player in the marketplace. Remember, those are our four key strategic uh, mechanisms. So, like I said, this is a fairly straightforward chapter, uh, but it does give us an idea of how we evaluate our competition and understand competition. It's our last chapter of this semester, and I thank you for this journey this semester. I wish I would have gotten to meet everybody. It was very nice to meet everybody in office hours this semester. It was a pleasure getting to know you. Uh, and I hope that you have a safe and happy break this year uh, and do well on your final. Take care, everybody.